Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, Kings. Semen retention, plateaus, and how to deal with them. What you must realize is everything has a plateau equivalent to when you are working out when you are in a gym. If that wasn't the case, we'd be able to bench press 20,000 pounds, right? So with semen retention plateau, you must then focus on volume as well. But it's volume not in the sense of how it is volume when you're working out, but it's volume in the sense of value. This just simply means do things to complement your semen retention journey. Like fasting, like cold showers, like working out, like meditation, like finding your spiritual awakening, finding your spiritual journey, I guess you can say. This is how you complement and give your semen retention journey volume when you feel that plateau. Because this is what I had to do. It got to a point where I've been doing semen retention for a good minute to where, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll say a while, while, while back, I've been stopped really feeling the benefits as far as like energy and stuff from semen retention. I'm just being honest. But I don't let this discourage me or treat it as if, oh man, maybe I should just go relapse because it's not working anymore. I don't think like that. I just know that I'm still benefiting from semen retention because I'm still on it. And I can just simply add um, things that complement my semen retention journey, like cold showers, which I need to get back to. I haven't been doing, so I'm not going to lie like I have, but I, I want to get back to cold showers. Um, um, what else can I? Oh, my spiritual journey. Now, I, I, I've been on my spiritual journey, heavy Kings. I haven't never left that. Um, I still do meditation. I still do the law of attraction manifestation. You know, like I said, I want to get back to cold showers. It's just with everything going on and COVID and everything. I really just haven't really been, even though they say cold showers actually boost your immune system. But it's just too much going on right now for me to really be focused on a cold shower like I need to. But I, I do plan on getting back. And if you're in a position where you can do it now, do it now. Uh, like I said, meditation, you should be doing that. You already know. Um, what else I say? Fasting. I haven't been fasting because we all know since I moved to LA, I lost a lot of weight and I had, you know, some health issues to where I'm not able to work out right now. So I'm not really looking to fast. I'm actually looking to put more size on in the future. Once I get, you know, to where I'm trying to get, um, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but this is all to let you know that it's okay. We are human. A plateau will come. Now, as far as plateaus with NoFap, I can't really give you advice on that because I don't think you should care. I think NoFap is a lifestyle, excuse me, because I was going to say a life choice, but a lifestyle. And I feel like NoFap is a life thing. That's what I really wanted to say. It's, it's, it should be done for life. So I really don't look at a, a, having like a plateau with NoFap because it's like it's something I'm doing for life. There's no such thing as a plateau. I'm done with it. I'm done with pornography. I'm done with masturbating. So I, I can't give you advice on that. But like with semen retention, I think it's a tool. I think it's something you should implement. And eventually you're going to want to come off. You're going to want to deal with women, right? If that's your choice. So it will be a plateau feeling to what you're trying to, you know, gain. If you're trying to go three months, six months, nine months, a year, two years, five years, however long, you're going to feel a plateau of when you first started. So when you feel this plateau, just simply add other benefits like weightlifting, add other things like cold showers, add other things like fasting, add other things like maybe um, burning, you know, burning fat, add other things maybe like bulking up, putting on weight, you know, other things that could also complement your semen retention journey and your overall journey to become a better man. Like reading. Read, bro. Stimulate your mind. This is amazing. When you read and stimulate your mind, this ties into semen retention. This ties into no fat. This ties into spirituality. All this ties into mental health, spiritual health. So when you hit a plateau, just add a side order to your dish. When you hit a plateau, simply say, okay, my main course is, is doing good. You know, it's, 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 um, it's baking good. You know, it's cooking good. Meaning you haven't relapsed, you're still on your semen retention journey, but you just don't feel those benefits like you once did. 
but you know your main course is done. You took it out the oven, it, it's in, you know, it came out perfect, all the ingredients, it tastes amazing, right? Now you just focus on your side order. You just focus on the mashed potatoes. You focus on the, you know, the macaroni. And the side orders is like I said, it's self-improvement. It's um, learning more about female nature. It's getting in shape. It's meditation. It's all these other things that can complement your spirituality in your semi retention journey, King. And this is how you deal with plateaus. You don't deal with plateaus by feeling like you're no longer benefiting from semen retention, so let me relapse. Feeling like I'm no longer benefiting from no fap, I guess you could say, so let me relapse. I done all I can done, done all I could do. You know, the benefits are not here anymore. I'm not seeing gains in the gym anymore. I'm not having that extra energy I once had. So, you know, I must, I must have won at the game of no fap, at the game of semen retention. Let me just go back to wasting my energy. Or the other aspect of it, which I see a lot of guys do. Damn, it's not working anymore. I want to keep going, but it's not working anymore. So let me start over. Because actually, the guy who requested this video, sorry, I'm looking at a dog over there, man. He's over there playing with the Frisbee. I think that's pretty cool. I love dogs, by the way. But uh, uh, what, was, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, the guy who actually requested this video, Kings, he actually said that he feels more energy after he relapsed. So like once he hit his plateau, and I'm going to tell you like this, King, it's all mental. The reason you feel more energy when you relapse is because it's mental, because the plateau is real. Don't get me wrong. But you're telling yourself mentally that, OK, I reached the peak at semen retention. Camera almost fell over. It's a, it's a hell of a windy day, Kings, but I had to get these videos to you. So you're telling yourself, I'm just going to hold it. Bear with me, guys. You're telling yourself. I reach my peak at semen retention. You know, I want that feeling, you know, that feeling when you first start, that's the best time, man. When you first start on it, you know, you get all this energy. You, you're hyping your mind up. You're tricking your mind, right? Like a, a, a placebo effect. So what you then begin to do is you're convinced like the law of attraction, like manifestation, like I tell you guys. What we think, what we believe is what is, what is reality. If you believe you're a failure, you're going to be a failure. You're going to behave like a failure. If you believe you're a success, you're going to behave like a success. So if you believe that you had more energy at the beginning of semen retention, at the beginning of NoFap, you're going to relapse because you're going to tell yourself, OK, I hit my plateau. I'm no longer seeing benefits from it. But if I start over, all that energy is going to come back. You honestly believe it. So the moment you relapse, you're going to behave that way. You're going to feel this energy. You're going to feel everything that you said, because as we all know, as I preach in my manifestation videos, what we think, what we believe is what is. So this is why you have more energy when you relapse. It's not because it's like, oh, you really did hit a plateau. So it's no more energy that can be had from this. So you have to start over. No, that's not true. It's just simply that you believe that. You believe that you hit this plateau and you reach the peak of energy and there's no more energy to be had. So you must start over. So guess what? This is what your mind believes. This is what your spirit believes. This is what your body believes. So once you relapse, you have this boost of energy because you wholeheartedly believe that you wholeheartedly believe that starting over on your journey is going to bring you back to step one. You know, back to that newfound energy, you know, that in boost, you know, increase in testosterone. You believe all these things, so you're going to behave like it once you relapse. Equivalent to when I get guys who tell me the opposite. They tell me that when they relapse, they feel like a failure. They feel drained. They, feel, they don't feel any energy, and they truly believe this. So every time they slip up or every time they relapse on their journey, they behave as such. They're not motivated. They're sad. They're depressed. They feel like a failure. So it all comes down to your mental and what you believe and how you see yourself. So you are allowed to stay on your semen retention journey through a plateau and still find other creative ways to boost your energy, all while giving appreciation and gratitude for being on semen retention. Because semen retention in itself is an ultimate blessing, Kings. But we start taking it for granted and going, ah, oh, well, you know, we treat semen retention like, like a sad bitch, for real. Like, ah, oh, well, you know, she did all she could do for me. You know, I'm hitting the plateau. All right, I'm done with her. Instead of really being grateful, like, man, 
I'm still on my semen retention journey. My energy is still within me. It's still attached to me. It haven't left me. It's still here. Even though I feel a plateau, I know it's here because I haven't released. I haven't had sex. I haven't watched porn. I haven't masturbated. So I know I have it in me. How can I compliment it? I can compliment it by implementing other things, getting in shape, fasting, meditation, spirituality. It's a badass video. So bad that I need you to drop down in the comment section. The fire, fire emoji. Three of them or two of them, King. Because I honestly really feel inspired to bring this video out because I know when I first started, I suffered from this. So it's that much more like personal for me because I seen things through. So I don't want kings to not see things through and reach what I have reached. Not saying like I'm better, but I'm just simply saying like, because it's people who have been doing semen retention longer than me. A lot of people that watch this channel have been doing it longer than me. But we're all in this together, right? And like I said, we're not getting caught up in the numbers. I'm just simply stating that I don't, I personally do not want to see you guys hit a plateau and say F it. That's why I was decided to make this video to avoid that, to avoid like I hit a plateau effort because I didn't do that and I'm glad I didn't. Salute. If you enjoyed that video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.